Peace, family. I got to talk to some of y'all, man. Some of y'all be talking real crazy. Y'all posting on my comments about cap. Ain't no cap on my page. I'm going to get my brakes done. As you can hear, my brakes is terrible. Um, My brakes started acting up two days ago. I parked the car because I had an issue with my caliper and my rotor. And um, I got my brakes fixed. And I didn't... uh fix the caliper or the rotor so it just destroyed my brakes so i think i had my brakes done two or three months ago and they, they're ready to be done again but never fear family i'm going to my mechanic i got about 600 bucks right here so i'm sure that's going to be able to clear or it should at least clear most of brakes rotors and calipers in the labor if not then I'm gonna have to tap Mac or swipe a credit card. If, if it's a lot more than $600, I'm swiping a credit card. I'm prepared to spend $600 to get it done. You know what I'm saying? And this is all trash bag money. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing with people, man. You can play with anybody but yourself talking about my page is cat. <laughs> or anything that I do is cat. Don't never say that. <laughs> because it's not. I'm showing people real methods. You know, you haven't seen anybody that purchased my book or books that said it was cat because it works. If you apply what's in them, you're gonna make money and that's gonna be that. So there is no cap with that. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go get these brakes done. I had a really slow weekend. I only have seven packages going out this weekend, which is uh, a third of what I would at the minimum be sending out. I don't know what that's about. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna drop in my car off um, but before I do that, I'm going to uh, Dollar Tree and I'm going to buy all of the tape. They got the good tape now. Um, I was getting this tape here. This uh, super clean tape that I really hate. Now they got the same type of tape, this uh, same roll, but it's 3M. And the tape is much better quality and you get a lot more tape. So I'm about to go to the dollar store and buy all of their tape. If they got 50 rolls, I'm going to buy 50. If they got 100 rolls, I'm going to buy 100 rolls. Whatever they got, I'm buying it all. Because um, it's like some of the best tape that you can get. Um, and it's the tape that I like and prefer. So, out the door with this super clean. And get me the 3M tape. And let that be that. Um, yeah, so drop the car off. Probably won't be getting it back today. I'll probably be getting it back tomorrow. Um because it's, it's 11.30, I doubt if they're gonna get my car and do all of this stuff to it and then have it back to me today. It's just, I don't think that's gonna happen. So my expectation is to get my car back by tomorrow. Um, and that's gonna be that. And I'll be in the house processing because I have plenty of things. You can see how full my van is, even though I didn't sell a lot this weekend. I have a lot of inventory. So I have plenty to do, I have plenty to process. and. Um, that's going to be my focus, man. Processing, getting this stuff out the door, getting this stuff ready to go out the door, um, and potentially going back to the flea market again and starting my flea market business. Uh, so I got stuff to do, man. Got a lot of stuff to do. And I'm just going to try to do the most important things first. And the, uh, I'm going to do the most difficult things also first because that just brings you so much more value when you go and do the difficult things first. You know what I'm saying, family? And um, it's gonna be that, man. Shout out to my brakes, that's not really there. The, the, the brakes is there, that's the rotors that you hear grinding. Um, because it's eating the brakes because of whatever is going on with it. And um, I, I thought I was gonna be able to get away with it, but then I, I failed to realize actually how heavy this van is and how much weight it pulls and that's what really, you know, ate through them brakes and it just was pointless to put them on. So it is what it is, man. You live and learn, man. And now it's gonna cost me some money and it is what it is. We're not complainers, man. We get things done and we learn and we use our experiences to become better. So I can honestly tell you never again will my van be in this specific type of problematic state. Because if I got anything going on with those brakes and those calipers and stuff, it's going to get done. And I'm also thankful that I can go get it done because I remember times where stuff would go wrong and that was like checkmate for me. Like I remember donating cars because when they broke, I just didn't have the money to fix them. 
You know what I'm saying? I just was just done. You know, this is like seven years ago. Six, seven years ago, I just was like, just done. If my car breaks down with something, you know, something big, I just don't have the money. And I also remember as, you know, as a youngin, when I first got my cars and like anything would happen, it just was like checkmate because I never really had money. You know what I'm saying? I was living check to check. I didn't know how to get out of living check to check. I didn't know how to, you know, make my life just so much better. You know, I just didn't know how to do it. And I'm thankful that when I reached my 30s, my my uh, early 30s, I started learning how to actually bring more value to the world and to allow myself to be successful and to be able to just command greatness, you know? I didn't know how to do it. I learned it. I'm still learning it. I'm still applying it. I'm still, you know, just reaching and doing what I need to do. And I must say it's much better than the earlier part of my life where I just didn't know how to navigate and do things, you know what I'm saying? So that's an important thing to learn. Learn how you can make yourself valuable because as you make yourself valuable, your life is just gonna get so much better. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be like just doing great. You know, so make you make yourself so much more valuable. Like I said, I'm happy that if I go to the mechanic and the job is more than this cash that I got, I got credit, baby. I can swipe that credit and go ahead and go about my business and pay the minimum payment if that's what I chose to do. Or I can swipe the credit and I can just pay him back in cash. Because I do have the cash, but on me. What I have physically now is 600 bucks, and that's gonna be what it is. So if it's more than that, we're gonna swipe. We're gonna do swipe life. We ain't even going to the ATM. We ain't, we're not doing none of that. We're gonna do the most easiest thing that we can do at the time. You know, and that's how I live my life now. I'm doing the easiest things that I can do. So if I walk into a store and, you know, I don't feel like going to the ATM or anything, I'll just swipe a credit card because I got several credit cards. Swipe them, and that'll be that, you know? And they got zero balances, you know what I'm saying? So I could swipe them for grants if I wanted to. But I wouldn't do that unless uh, it was a, a, a big opportunity. If I swipe a card for thousands of dollars, it's going to be for a big opportunity and for the leverage that it gives me in utilizing an opportunity that's in front of me. That's another thing to think of. Be ready so when something is presented and you have opportunity, you can capture. Because if you're not ready, and then you have opportunity in front of you. It's like opportunity. It's like opportunity not being in front of you because you're not ready and you can't capture and you just don't have any way to create leverage from that situation. So learn that, man. Create leverage, man. That's what credit does for you. It just leverages things, you know. And, it, and it, it's going to work in your favor if you use it and you utilize it properly, which a lot of people don't. You know, they get credit and they out here catching airplanes and doing this and doing that and buying clothes and getting furniture and stuff like that it's cool in some instances but in most instances it's not credit is a, a, a tool that you leverage to make your life better you know if you're really smart you're using a credit card that has rewards and points and you're buying the things that you normally would buy with your cash and then using the points to live your life you know anybody that want to get free gas DM me on Instagram, I'll tell you how to get free gas or cheap gas, and I'll tell you how to get paid when other people get gas. You know, it's a network marketing thing. There's no joining costs, you know what I'm saying? And it's a residual income. I've been getting paid for two years, you know what I'm saying, for people getting gas. You must DM me on Instagram today to get into this. DM, uh, uh, what is it? An emoji, the, uh, the gas pump emoji. DM that to me, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna send you the link. I'm gonna get you signed up. And boom, there you go. Another stream of income. It's not gonna be a big stream of income, but it's a stream of income. And it's residual, man. Now, it could be big. It depends on how hard you work. I don't know how hard you work. So I'm gonna let you know right from the beginning. It's not gonna be big if you're not working hard. Because a lot of people, they, they slackers, man. You know, I've noticed that. I don't really like reach out to a lot of people no more. Because I realize people really ain't cut from that cloth, man. They be acting like they cut from that cloth, but they ain't cut from that cloth, man. You could tell because they don't want to work, man. They want everything to just come to them and just drop in their lap, man. Ain't nothing dropping in your lap, man. Real people do real things, man. Anything that you really want, you're going to have to work for it. So go get out there and do some work, man. 
people. Stop being with these lazy people and being around and influenced by these lazy people to tell you things don't work because they haven't tried it or they didn't try it long enough. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Things take time, man. Put some work in. Yeah, I'm up here at the dollar store now. About to go in here and give me a uh, million rolls of tape. Like I said, I'm buying all their rolls of tape, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna buy all their rolls of tape at the dollar store. About to park real quick. Like I said, 3M tape, this tape is, is litty. That's what I use in my packages. My 3M Tiz tape. Scanner and my battery pack off my dashboard. I don't want nobody cracking my damn window for it. Let's go, family. Oh, dang. Keep forgetting, you need a mask. Which is another thing that it's terrible. It's terrible that you need a mask. Do I have one? Another thing, do I even have one? <laughs> Do I even have one? Here we go. Got a disposable joint joint that I got for free because I went into a store and I didn't have a mask. And this specific store, if you don't have one, I give you one. Let's go, y'all. What's up, bro? About to slide in the dollar store and buy all they tape. <laughs> they probably gonna tell me I can't do it. We are gonna try it though. We gonna try it. We gonna try it, buy all the tape. Yeah, that's how we gonna do it, y'all. We buying all of it. On a credit card too, if y'all didn't know. Like I said, leverage credit. Leverage credit, man, to get more credit. In turn, you'll get more cash. Come on, man. Oh, my camera not flipping. How many rolls you think it is? I'm gonna buy all. I'm gonna buy all them jobs. One. Twelve. We ain't running out of tape no more. 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. They're going to tell me I can't do this. 23, 25, 26. We ain't even going to count it, man. We ain't going to count it, man. We ain't going to How deep is this joint? Shucks. Nah, we ain't gonna be able to buy all of them. It's, it's too deep. They ain't gonna let me buy all that. Let's see if they let me buy this, though. <laughs> I don't know how many we got. We gonna, we gonna find out how many we got in a second. We about to buy a lot of tape. I don't even know how many. We was gonna buy all of them, but it was like way deeper than what I thought. Let's see how this goes. How you doing? We gonna need that. Buy me 
Yeah. No. Nah, I gave you this so you could. Yeah, but I can put these in the box. Okay. However you need to do it. I like how you think. Yeah, I need a lot of tape. See, y'all don't carry this tape often. This is the good tape. The 3M tape is better than that super whatever it's called. It's the worst tape. <laughs> so when you got this, I got to buy it off. Okay. 60 pieces. Yeah. Sound about right. You can try and order them online too. If I order online, I'm going to order a whole lot more than that. Yeah. A whole lot know. more. It doesn't cost it paying my card. Yes. It doesn't cost you shipping if you have it shipped to the store. Okay. So it's the same as you would be buying it here. Okay. Thank you so much. I got to figure out how to do it how to navigate the site and get to the products because I don't think I could find some stuff I was looking for. Type in the description. So okay, 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 perfect. That, or go in the department if you know it's stationary and that's where this comes in, stationary. Okay. Do I need to sign? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one. this right here. You got it? Thank you. You're welcome. Next door to you. get the door. Are you okay? No, I got it. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate you. it. Yeah, guys, I got the 60 pack of tape. Six old rolls. <laughs> I'm going to go to the website and order like 200 rolls, yo. This is good tape. I can't even pull my mask down, yo. My mask is going over my damn eyes. I can't pull it down. But this is some good tape. I should be good for like six months on tape. <laughs> At least. Or then again, maybe not because Q4, I'm, I'm about to tear a hole in something on Q4. I'm about to start something that a lot of people wouldn't do. Starting a bargain store. You know what I'm saying? Starting a bargain store, so get the money you know what I'm saying and I got a free box family how you like it and I got a free box and I got a free box man so you know I like that because the box going to get used. You can fit a game system in that joint. I was going to buy all of them, family. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But when I seen how deep the joint was, man, shit was probably like 300 rules. I, I was up to, I was ready to spend $100. It was a credit card, so I ain't even spend no money. You know what I'm saying? I spent $60 on my credit card. I'm going to make $60 back today. <laughs> I'm going to make $60 back today in my business, man. That's the thing about business. Don't ever spend more than what you make. You know what I'm saying? Because that's it's not intelligent. Spending more than what you make. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't ever spend more than what you make. Respect your money. I've been buying stocks at least every three to four days. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm building a portfolio of dividend paying stocks. I'm building my portfolio to get paid weekly. I'm building my portfolio so when I retire, I will be getting a weekly check 
from my dividend stocks. You know, I'm building it now with some of the top companies, companies that have been going up in dividends, companies that have been consistent with their dividends for at least 10 years, so on and so forth. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm buying companies like Apple. I'm buying companies like, uh, what else? I gotta look at my portfolio. I'm buying, I'm buying some new companies too. I'm buying all of the electric uh, companies that's like making cars and making batteries and uh, you know, all that different stuff. I, I gotta show y'all my portfolio. You know, I, I would have to show it to you to show you all of what I have and, and what I'm investing in. But um, yeah, man, and I'm getting my advice from some of the top uh, experts out there as far as stocks is concerned. So that's another thing too, family. Get you some stocks, man. You know what I'm saying? Get you some stocks. I even got some investments in some penny stocks, you know what I'm saying? Which are extremely volatile. And I don't have a lot invested in it. You know, it's a small percentage of my portfolio. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, I'm, I'm learning, man. I'm learning. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm definitely applying, you know, which is important. You have to apply. You could be the smartest person in the world, but if you're not using your information and your knowledge for anything, are you the smartest person in the world? You see what I'm saying? Then you're no longer like super smart because you're not really doing anything with what you know. So it's like it cancels being smart. So don't just be a person that's just about learning and learning and learning, but not about any application or processes where you execute. Always get out there and execute. You know what I'm saying? I, I purchased uh, a couple hundred um, mellers. So I got a couple hundred mellers in different sizes. I have the, uh, just the different bags, different sizes of bags. I think they call them poly bags, but it's not padded. And um, I don't have a lot of different boxes. Um, I have boxes, but I don't have a, a good variation of boxes that I need. So what I do when I'm driving, I get boxes out of the trash and I get boxes out of stores where uh, people are like doing shelves or whatever dollar stores and stuff like that you go in there and say hey um you got any boxes to spare and you get the exact box that you need and boom or boxes that you need and you go go from there um also when you list your inventory figure out what type of packaging you're going to be using man stop listing inventory and not knowing how you're going to ship it because that's just backwards logistics and it's not going to allow your business to grow because you're not working from the inside out you want to work from the inside out and figure out how you're going to, to do something so you can do it because if you don't know how you're going to do it, then how the heck are you really going to do it? You know what I'm saying? Effectively, efficiently. So figure that out, man. I see a lot of people doing that where they'll list something, a bundle, and they don't even know how they're going to package it and send it out. You're hurting yourself. We all do it. We all, we all have done it. But you got to put it behind you if you want to get better results. If you want your business to just start growing tremendously. The small things, the little tweaks is what you got to do like that. Like knowing how you're going to ship something having the different options available of how you can do it and stop uh, accepting offers for stuff that you don't know how to do yet, you know? Peace, what's good? Stop trying to ship stuff and not actually have any logistics in place on how you're gonna do it because you're killing yourself. And like Danny said, you wanna get overcharged, man. Also, hand that to the customer, man. Stop letting people get free shipping on stuff they're not supposed to, man. In my store, 99% of stuff, they gotta pay for shipping. The 1% is, you know, I, I'll go ahead and eat that. But other than that, man, they paying for shipping, man. If you want it, right, then buy it. If you want it, buy it. You know, I ain't got time to be letting people make me lose money. Plus, when you had them uh, get free shipping, you're putting more money out. What make you think I wanna put more money out on each sale? Think about this, cause I had a guy say to me one time, he was like, yo, he was like, you charging a lot for shipping and this and that. This was on eBay, because on eBay, I always overcharge my shipping. I don't care what it is. Dude gonna say to me, he said, yo, you overcharging me on shipping. I said, hold up, sir. I said, have you ever heard of shipping and handling? I have to ship it and handle it, which means I have to get patch packaging for it, and I don't use regular methods. Like I said, I go in the trash to get it. When I'm driving and I see Amazon boxes, they go right in my van. You see me now with this big box that I got out the trash, a good box that somebody order something and it threw the box away, I'm going to use that box. It's a 20 by 20 by 20. It's a big box. I'm going to ship something or I'm going to put something in it and put it in storage or put it to the side. All right. So with that said, you have to ship it and handle it. So that means you have to take it to the post office 
which is probably not in your backyard or on your block or in your house. So you gotta take it somewhere. You gotta package it. You gotta drop it off. So it's shipping and handling. You gotta pay for that, sir, because that's time. Time is money. You know, he was upset, that's on him. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for that. That's childish, shipping and handling. Whenever you buy something, you'll notice that they mention both. Because not only do we have to ship it, we have to handle it. Like I said now, I got seven packages I gotta drop off. I gotta take them to the post office. The post office ain't where I live at. I just got gas, my gas was $70. I fill my tank up. I don't ride around with no gas in my van. You know what I'm saying? So where does the money come from for the $70 that goes into the van to go get the boxes, to drop off the packages, to get the inventory, to run any of these processes. Where does it come from? It gotta come from somewhere, so people gotta pay, man. Don't be afraid to get your worth, man. A lot of people out here in this world, man, they suffering because guess what? They too scared to get their worth. Stop being scared to get your worth, man. Don't ever do that. And stop letting people ask you to get things for free. If you do hair, don't do no hair for free. If you cook and they request you to cook and they want a certain dish and entree and this and that, charge them. Whatever you do, man, if you drive and people get in the car and they touch your door handle and they don't give you no money or take you to the store or nothing, you can't draw those people, man. Come on, now it's 2020, man. If you got any skills and any talents, then they need to be monetized. That's how you live a good life. You want to live a good life? Take your skills and take your talents and make money with them. You'll never work a day in your life. You're never gonna be working. You are never working when you're taking your talent and your skills and you're cashing them in to live a better life. I don't work. You think this is work? Me selling some junk to somebody? You think that's work? It's not. And I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? I'm living life, man. I'm living life and I'm learning. And like I said, I'm applying what I learned because you can learn all you want, but it doesn't matter if you're not going to use it to do better things, to do bigger things. I'm not working, man. Y'all ain't never seen me work before. You know what I do for a living, man? I'm going to tell y'all what I do for a living. I got multiple streams of income for one. I'm not going to tell you what all my streams of income is because we ain't going to get into that right now. I can reveal that later on, but I have multiple businesses. My businesses pay me almost every single day, all right? I'm not working with any of them outside of this one here where I collect my junk and I sell it to people, but it don't feel like work because all I have is a phone and I'm using like an app and I'm taking that app and I'm putting something on there and I'm putting a price on it and people buy it. That don't feel like work to me, but maybe it is, I don't know. Um, and I'm shipping it to the people. And then with my other, my other businesses, I just gotta make phone calls and connect with people, line things up and that's it. And I get paid and I just have to talk. And then I got social media, which I make money on social media. I sell books, you know what I'm saying, that I create from my brain. So I sell my thoughts. My thoughts are money. I'm getting paid thousands of dollars for my thoughts. So what are your thoughts worth? You know, think about this. I'm using social media to make money, you know? Come on, like, that's, that's, that's great. I get to share my life, do what I want to do, wake up when I want to wake up, go to bed when I want to go to bed, I get to just live a free life. I get to explore. I get to travel. And it don't cost me nothing. I get to do it just, just the hell cause. You know, right now I could just go to another state. I could fly somewhere and take the whole thing and show all of the people that follow me online and give them content. Cause that's what I do. I, I create content. I create great content and I, I give it to the world. And you know, people get something from it. They get inspired, they get motivated, and you know, they get their wills moving. You know, even if they don't do what I do, it's still a, a motivator, you know what I'm saying? Let's say you don't give a shit about what I do. None at all. It's still a motivator. It's still a motivator. You'll be like, damn, man, this dude out here living his life, man. Let me go live mine. And you're gonna go live your life. Who don't wanna do that? So I mean, it's, it's not work, man. Or I could choose, I could go get a job working for somebody, doing what they tell me to do. Doing the same thing over and over every single day and hate my life. Hate the fact that, you know, I wanna do things, I'm looking at trash too as I'm driving, fam. I just seen a lot of empty boxes. And I can hate the fact that I wanna do things, but I can't because my time is occupied 
during the moments that I want to do things and during the moments when things are happening, I have to go work for someone just to make just enough money to be check to check and not have any money to do anything that I want to do outside of the times that I'm working. Like, what? Nah, been there, done that. Don't want to go back. And we're going to live a free life, you know, pretty much forever. We're going to live a free life. We're going to go out here, do what we want to do, monetize things that we are passionate about, and just live good, man. You know, that's what it's about, man. Live good, man. Monetize the things that you love. Like, let's, let's say if you want to play video games for a living. You know you can jump on YouTube and play video games, and people will watch your videos, and you can make money through advertisements and stuff like that because they're watching your videos. Wow. You can make a living playing video games. You can make a living doing anything, yo. We live in the age of information. All you have to do is just share your information, and, you know, you're going to be able to make a living, yo. So get out here and do what y'all got to do, family. Get out here and make shit happen, man. Make a living just doing great things, man. You know that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. That's <laughs> what I'm doing. But it's much more to what I'm doing. So I'm gonna start exploring and doing other things too. But you know it is what it is, man. Just my thoughts, man. Just my thoughts, views, and opinions. Nothing major. It might resonate with you and it might not, you know? And I'm not knocking anybody. I'm not talking down, I'm not talking bad. Just putting some information out there, you know? Do with it what you will. At the end of the day, that's what it's really about, you know? Whatever information you're, you're taking in, do with it what you will. You know, you don't have to actually do anything with it. But you would wanna do something with it because it's gonna bring you so much value. It's going to bring you value to take the information that you know will help you and utilize it. Like, get off some of these pages that's not inspiring you, man. If you following people, man, and they're not making you feel like you need to do better, or making you feel like you need to get out here and just take on the world, you're not following the right people, man. I told my son yesterday, I said, it's two different types of people. You got the people that come at the world, and you got the people that let the world come at them. I come at the world, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna explain that to you a little more deeply. Let's say you live by some bushes and you come outside at night and you trying to go to your car, but you're scared to go to your car because you like worrying about what's in the bushes. The bushes need to be worrying about what you want to do. You know, that's how I carry it. I'm not worrying about what's in the bushes. The bushes better make sure nothing don't jump out because if something jump out, it's gonna get handled because I'm coming at the world. You know what I'm saying? The world ain't coming at me. <laughs> Take that approach, man. It's gonna make your life so much better because now you no longer pray. You know what I'm saying? You no longer pray. You don't want to be prayed, man. You wanna. You don't want to be fooled out here. You know? You're gonna be fooled out here, and you're gonna be the weakest link, and you're gonna be just the lowest of the low if you take the approach that you're gonna let the world come at you. You know what I'm saying? The world can't come at you if you don't let it because it's all a mental thing before anything else. Before anything becomes a reality, it becomes a thought. So, you know, choose wisely on what you want to attach yourself to mentally and on what you want to hold on to. People be holding on to the wrong things, man. I ain't got no time, family. You know, that's extra baggage. If it ain't going to make me better, I don't need it. If I can't cash it in at the bank, I probably don't want it. You know what I'm saying? So far today, I done purchased me a couple stocks. You know what I'm saying? A couple shares. Um, I'm gonna go get my vehicle fixed. I got me some tape. I got on here, I was able to talk to you guys. You know what I'm saying? My day's starting good. I'm about to go grab me some great breakfast from a diner around the corner. <laughs> I know what it is, man. I know exactly what it is. Anyway, family, I'm gonna get up off of here. It was a pleasure. I'm gonna catch y'all on my next live. Those of y'all that want to get the free gas, y'all know what to do, man. If you want to get free or cheap gas and get a residual income from people getting gas, DM me that emoji, man. That gas emoji, you know, that gas pump on Instagram. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. As always, peace, blessings, and prosperity. I'm going to catch y'all on the next stream. Peace.